Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Mega Wayfair. But first off, getting today's video sponsor, our own website, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is ShadeReviewStore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 51 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. And this is the standard and only size of these sunglasses that Ray-Ban currently produces of the Ray-Ban Mega Wayfair. So even though they offer extremely bold styling, the lens size is actually only one millimeter uh, bigger than the standard size of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair. So I actually have a pair of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair to show you guys in today's video. So here is the pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfair in the standard 50 millimeter lens size. Now I also do have a pair in the larger size, which again has 54 millimeter lenses. And here we can see the larger size of the original Wayfair is actually definitely a lot bigger than the Mega Wayfair. So basically the Mega Wayfair isn't nearly as big as a lot of people think that it is. The biggest part of the Ray-Ban Mega Wayfair is these huge chunky temples here. So if we move down to the temples, again, we can see how huge and fat they are. And this little Ray-Ban logo actually looks really, really small in comparison to this huge bogey temple. As far as the styling goes here on the front, I actually think these look pretty good. I thought they looked absolutely terrible online and from the photos. I didn't think I was going to like these a lot at all. I only bought them to make this review. That's why I got them in this really cool and kind of loud colorway. But just looking at the fronts here, I actually think they look pretty good on face. But honestly, I really don't hate these as much as I thought I was going to. I think it's actually a really cool looking pair of sunglasses. Now, as far as weight goes, because they are a big and chunky pair of sunglasses, they are going to weigh 54 grams. Now, as far as weight goes, these are definitely a very heavy pair of sunglasses coming in at 54 grams. Now, for comparison, the standard size with 55 millimeter of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair comes in at 43 grams, and then the larger size of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair come in at 47 grams. So the Mega Wayfair comes come in at seven grams heavier than the largest size of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. Now, another way that this pair of sunglasses is different than the originals is the fact these frames are actually made out of a propionate material versus an acetate. And propionate is actually a little bit more lightweight. It's based out of a nylon material, so it's actually much more lightweight than the original Ray-Ban Wayfair as far as the material that it's made out of. Now, if we take a closer look at the front of the frames, we can see a little painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens for authentication purposes. And of course, we can also see a little etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens for authentication purposes. Now, if we take a look at the corner of the frames, we can see these little two metal accents, which I think really help complete the look as well. Now, as far as the hinges go, these frames have very nice and premium seven barrel all metal hinges, which feel really good when to open up and to enclose them. And these hinges look very beefy and strong, like they're not going to break very easily. So now, these frames are made in Italy, and they sit here in the inner right temple of the frames. They say Ray-Ban made in Italy, and the build quality here is just really nice. They do have a metal stem that runs all the way down the temples for rigidity purposes. But these frames do have a little bit of squeaking to them, not much, but just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit uh, when you flex them to put them on the face, which you're not gonna find on a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses in my experience. Now, as far as the exact colorway that I'm wearing in today's video, these have Ray-Ban's transparent pink colorway for the actual frames, even though the fronts are definitely uh, red. And then the lens color here is absolutely beautiful red mirror lens, which I think looks really, really good on face. Definitely really makes them pop, but I think that pairs very nicely with the Mega Wayfair bold styling. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, unfortunately, these frames don't offer very good coverage from the sun. So here up top, we can see there's a huge gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side, again, there's a pretty big gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. However, the huge temples here actually do help add a little bit of extra coverage, but still overall pretty poor coverage from the sun. So definitely not very practical. Now, as far as pricing on these go, the cheapest one comes in at $174. And the most expensive one of polarized lenses come in at $224. And I'm going to leave a link down below directly to Ray-Ban's website if you are interested in picking a pair of these sunglasses for yourself. I don't believe I'm going to stock these on the website because I don't think they're going to be extremely popular. But if you are interested in picking a pair from our own website, send me a message. I could probably get you one of these for about $50 off the original MSRP. So just go over to the website and send me a message and I'll be more than happy to respond to your inquiry about getting your hands on a brand new pair of Ray-Ban and Mega Wayfarers. Overall, I think it's a really fun and unique looking pair of sunglasses. You're definitely not going to see a lot of people wearing these frames out in public. And honestly, 
honestly, like I said earlier, from the photos online, I didn't think I was actually going to like these frames, but after wearing them uh, for a little bit, I actually do kind of like them. They're just very bold and really cool looking, which definitely really surprised me. Well, that's all I got for guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.